real world travelers. Today I'm going to be showing you the top five night markets in Taiwan. Over our winter break, we went to Taiwan and we were able to visit six different night markets. Our goal was to visit as many night markets as possible and I think we did a pretty good job over a 10 day period. So let's check it out. One can't travel to Taiwan without visiting its signature night markets. From the many unique shops and vendors to the pungent smells of stinky tofu, Taiwan provides travelers with the food experience of a lifetime. During our most recent winter vacation, we made it our personal goal to visit as many night markets as possible during a 10 day period. Although we didn't visit a night market every night, we were able to check out six different markets spread throughout the country. Here are our five top night markets ranked from our least to most favorite. First off, I have to give an honorable mention to Zigi Ching Night Market in Hualien. Unfortunately, on this particular night, our camera died, so we didn't get any video footage from what turned out to be one of our favorite markets. Zigi Ching Night Market was very wide, open, and clean, and offered several standard night market fare along with a few unique eats that we were able to enjoy. Although we don't have video, here are a few pictures of our favorite dishes. A pork gua bao, also known as a Taiwanese burger, and something that resembled a lamb shawarma. We also discovered a stall where they poured pancake batter into a mold and filled them with things like peaches and a breakfast mix of eggs, bacon, and cheese. Overall, we left the market with happy feelings and would recommend anyone visiting Hualien to make Ziqing one of their first stops. Now on to our top 5 night markets in Taiwan. Number 5, Fengjia Night Market in Taichung. Fengjia Night Market was our least favorite night market. It felt more commercialized and touristy, was cramped, and didn't have as many new and unique foods to try. Most of the foods that Fengjia offers can also be found at every other market in Taiwan. The positives to the market were that it wasn't super busy, was clean, and we didn't feel rushed by the crowd when trying to decide what to eat. We're glad we went, but there are better night markets out there to choose from. Okay, so what were your thoughts on this latest night market that we visited? I think I like Rao Hai better. Number four, Rao Hai Night Market in Taipei. Rao Hai Night Market was our very first night market and was one of our first Taiwanese experiences after stepping off the plane and checking into our Airbnb. The market was cramped and we were instantly greeted with the smells of stinky tofu mixed with fresh fish and exotic fruits. At Raohe we found some of the more well-known night market foods like the peppered pork bun, flame torched beef, and candied tomatoes. Having heard so much hype about the peppered pork bun, we were disappointed to find it overly greasy and not as flavorful as we originally anticipated. Our experience may have been marred by our journey from Tokyo to Taipei, but it wasn't the best market to start with. Come at the bottom. <laughs> it's Korean <out> everywhere. <laughs> oh my god. Hot. That is so hot. <laughs> oh my god. Look at that. Look at the steam. <laughs> Number three, Shilin Night Market in Taipei. Shilin Night Market was a great change from its rival Raohe. With clean streets, Shilin was bustling with both tourists and locals and had some of the best food we ate during our stay in Taiwan. From the famous Taiwanese fried chicken to the strangely addicting loaf of cheese bread, everything we ate was a delight. The taro milk tea was a nice change from your usual American flavors, and an underground food court had more options than you could possibly want. If you're looking for a solid night market in Taipei, this is a great choice. So we got this huge loaf of cheese bread. Oh, look at the look at the knife. Oh my god! Like cutting through like it's it's like butter. butter. It's like butter. Do a cross section. Okay. Okay. Great. Is it buttery? It's like kind of sweet, kind of like a pound cake, but ready with cheese. It's really good. Mm, I 
wanted to get some of this cheese oh bread action. Number 2. Liuhu Night Market in Kaohsiung Liuhu Night Market was a sweet surprise in the city of Kaohsiung. The streets were wide and there were more options than we could choose from. Some of our favorites were the sugarcane juice and the fresh prawns that were jumping around in their tank right before being grilled up and served to our table. Liuhu was smaller than the other markets, but still had plenty of personality and charm to make it worth your while. If ever in Kaohsiung, this is a must see. That's my last prawn. I think this, these might be the best shrimp I've ever had. So delicious. Oh. Mm. And now for our favorite night market in all of Taiwan, Flower Night Market in Tainan. With so many options to choose from, Flower Night Market has your best food interests in mind. This open air market set up in a grid-like pattern is both easy to navigate while not being too overwhelming. The lanes weren't the widest and it was fairly crowded, but the sheer number of food options, carnival games, and small shops made up for this minor inconvenience. Because the market was very open, the stinky tofu wasn't overbearing, and we were able to enjoy our time spent at Flower Night Market. Although a bit out of central Tainan, it's worth your time and effort to make this one of your stops while in Taiwan. Good? What does it taste like? It's like flaky. And then it's got that spiciness on there. Mm. Oh man. Awesome. So there you have it. The top five night markets in Taiwan. Let us know in the comments below if we missed any night markets or if there would be any ones that you would add. So be sure to like and subscribe if you want to see more. See you next time.